think kielele yangu tuanze na what is taxation kuna ka definition interesting ulikuwa nalo sana what is taxation yeah taxation i want to believe uh, kuna student wanaskiza na mtu wenye si student yes uh, mi ufunza taxation at yes. vision na jquart yes and uh, i'm a tax consultant and a tax agent so ukisikia tax ama taxation it is a compulsory contribution you as an individual if you're running a company it's a business it's a compulsory uh, contribution meaning it is a must you pay tax to the government whether you are employed or you are running a business it is a compulsory contribution which enables the government to meet its expenses because it does not have ready sources of income so anytime you hear of tax always know it is a compulsory contribution by persons to the state to okay. enable it to meet its okay. expenses so from a haters perspective mm -hmm. uh, the only difference between you may say a compulsory contribution yes, it's the compulsory. only difference between tax na kupigwa ngeta ni ngeta haina percentage <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is for taxation we tax where there is an income where tunajua you are making income not everyone kwa ngeta haina income <laughs> 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 Not everyone at least is it as the government looks at for example if you're employed and you are earning 24000 and above unalipa tax but if you are earning below that you are not subjected to tax but get a ita juu whether uko na 5000 2200 like kingine nilikuwa nasoma mtu alipigwa geta kutolewa 200 na kanyanganya mwezi gani You've not seen that meona hiyo No eh pale nyeri sijui jana alikuwa na mtu na mwizi alikuwa na gani ehe akamreso la kamnyanganya <laughs> lakini oh. 200 ilikuwa imeenda hiyo ni 200 alikuwa ametoka mje oh kwa mm -hmm. kampata kwa guzi now <laughs> now uh, in it was uh, one of the interesting things about this book and the first thing uh, by the way she is the author of this book for public finance and taxation made easy yeah. uh, is at tax kuna tax evasion na tax avoidance Yeah. you can avoid paying tax legally yes please explain that now when we say of tax avoidance and tax evasion eh? avoidance is where you use maybe tax experts ama we mwenyewe you go study the income tax act vizuri una detect kuna some loopholes you capitalize on those loopholes to reduce your tax burden so hata ukipatikana or if you're caught there is nothing they can do they cannot penalize you they cannot do anything because you capitalized on what is in the income tax act lakini evasion ni ile you want to uh, refuse to pay tax literally maybe una inflate expenses i made 2 million nasema my expenses were 2.1 million you are inflating expenses which you didn't incur lakini I, or, or, or evasion, i'm making an income somewhere and i don't disclose it when i'm filing my returns hiyo ni evasion but when it comes to avoidance tunaangalia for example kuna kitu nilikuwa nakwambia tunaitanga maybe kama allowable deduction najua from my income kama ile salary na earn at the end of the month i can opt from that salary 5000 i will be putting it in a pension scheme ama uh, i will be putting in a home ownership saving plan it's an institution that is there hiyo pesa ni yangu but i opted to put it there na iweka hapo i'm saving and it is my money and it will be earning me interest but because the government want to encourage you to make sure you uh, you own a home wanakwambia anything you contribute to a home ownership saving plan before we subject you to tax tunakuwa tunatoa hiyo remember the other income the higher the tax kwa hivyo if my income was 50000 and i'm contributing towards home ownership saving plan maybe na contribute 5000 per month before ni taxiwe kwa hiyo 50 5000 inatolewa i'm taxed on the difference so unaona na pay KRA less than what i would have given them so i'm capitalizing that loophole to reduce my tax burden so if i capitalize on my side hustle ni bakisha 25000 out of do nimesave ya nyumba i will only be taxed on 5000 it depend ume, umeweka wapi how are you capitalizing it you are capitalizing on those avenues zenye ziko present kwa income tax okay. act so a friend of mine told me mm -hmm. that how he compiles mavitu kwa kampuni yake ni mm -hmm. every time ukibai kitu every time you buy something kuna mm -hmm. vat charged mm -hmm. ukilipa stima there is vat charged yes so when you're tabulating your tax returns if you compile all the money you've been charged in terms of tax mm -hmm. there's a way it can be deducted from the money you have made as profits is that true the funny thing is for your household goods it's not considered 
ya ku reduce your tax burden. Then Actually ukipatikana I... umetoa hiyo electricity na ni ya nyumba yako na si ya ofisi. Ya ofisi ni sawa. Kama this is where I'm running my business in an office. Eh? And then, kuna hizo electricity bill ni menunua furniture. Iyo VAT, nitaitumia kureduce VAT yenye nalipa at the end of the month. Lakini kama umenunua VT za nyumba, ama your household goods, iyo ukiklaim, they will come telling you you evaded tax. That is illegal. Because, <laughs> niki apply for tax, nini, nini, niki eka iyo kwa tax, stima ya nyumba. What if I'm working from home? <laughs> uh, th that's what you have to prove as in if it is a household na inaonekana sio ofisi ni yako yenye unatumia kwa nyumba yako that one is not allowable in Akama taxation yako, because the tax man kama. says eh, you have to match your income with expenses expenses which you incur to generate that income kwa hivyo if it is office furniture that one is okay if it is office electricity it's okay lakini yako kingori ya kwako nyumbani ukileta hapo utafuatwa na utali utaambwa you are evading tax naenda kuweka kiti kama hii kwa nyumba yangu but then uh, that said uh, there is also a benefits that if you are married it reduces tax if let me tell you something interesting <laughs> it is not that what happens actually if you're married the income that you earn when it comes to taxation it's deemed to be your husband's so the husband oh. is the one who will be called upon to pay tax on your behalf. And the higher the income, the higher the tax. Na kuna kitu tunaitanga in taxation, personal relief. Personal relief inapewa mtu yeyote mwenye analipa tax. Kama saa ini 28,800. When you're being taxed pale wakikompute tax yako, unatolewa 28,800. That is for the whole year. That is what is happening. Lakini if they tax the husband only, Personal relief itakuwa ya mtu mmoja. Currently walileta kitu wakasema, sayi nakubaliwa, a woman, a wife, you can do it on your own. The husband can do it on your own. But, if you are working for your husband, husband ameanza kampuni, and you are an employee of that company, any income you are getting will not be deemed yours but your husband's. Ata kama ni apa, for example, NTV, Kingori is working with the wife here. And maybe you control more than 12.5% of the company shareholding. Uh, the income, the wife's income will be deemed husbands. And the husband will be the one who will be called upon to pay tax. So not like I thought, marriage ni asara bado, either way. Either way. <laughs> but remember, kama ni losses, you carry the baggage. So in any way, kama ni business, you are in partnership. Whatever happens, the husband. But currently, you can opt to do it on your own. Okay. Yes. Now, how much responsibility, how much should we hold the tax bodies accountable? Mm -hmm. Ju, I was told of countries that pay tax up to 55%, but people don't complain mm -hmm. because they have good hospitals, they have good housing, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, can you refuse to pay tax because you don't see the value of where it's going? Actually, kuna kitu naitanga causes of tax evasion. Na nimewambia, evasion is illegal. Kuna, moja tunasemanga it's a cost. Na moja ni yo, lack of accountability and transparency from the side of the government. Because somebody feels they are taxing me, getting my money, and I cannot see what he's doing. So if the government can come out clean, wakue very transparent and very accountable, ata nikilipa tax, I will not feel bad. Lakini watu anasema, sisi tunataxiwa, tuna then dio hizo zimepotelea, zimepata mashimo, corruption, corruption. So, that is one thing that is making people evade from paying tax. So unapata there is lack of accountability, lack of transparency on the side of the government. So it is a major cause of tax evasion. That one I can tell you for sure. Okay. Yeah. So if everybody paid tax and the government was accountable in the situation as of our country, Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, at five complain. Actually, uh, it may increase the taxable capacity. The taxable capacity is the number of people in the tax brackets. Because, Kengori, if you know, by giving this, it's helping like uh, more than 20 people or whatever, you yes. will comfortably do it. But okay. that lack of accountability and transparency yes. is the one that is making people feel like we should not be giving taxes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, alafu, um, to an Kuna some of the things I had uh, uh, highlighted, one mm -hmm. of them, uh, encouragement of home ownership, that's uh, a good advantage mm -hmm. and stuff, but sasa hata kwa yu ownership, uh, utakuja badu upigwe tax. Uh, government will get Lakini inapungua, inapunguza, home ownership saving plan, ama uchukue loan, 
you buy a house or you construct yours. When you are students who are here na maybe wanafanya CPA na wanafanya taxation, they understand what I'm saying. Uh, how it helps. If I take a mortgage, for example, today if you took a loan to buy your own home or maybe to construct or yes. to repair your own residential house, si lazima ulipe hiyo na interest. Yes. Ama interest uh, wa islamu wanaita markup. Yes. So that uh, interest, unaambiwa, before we tax you on your employment income, tutakuwa tunaitoa kwanza. Okay. So it is encouraging people to feel that it is reducing my tax burden. Whatever I would have given Kayari have reduced it legally. Yes. And it is encouraged because Nikiona in an idea evil, actually come as a tax expert. Look at our pay slips on all how we avoid it. Because we are doing it legally. Mortgage interest in a say mortgage kwanza in a up to three hundred thousand per annum. Kama ukona mortgage umelipa your interest yote ilete itolewe from your from your from your salary before you are subjected to tax. The interest, not the principal. No, the interest. Ah, but host it is on contribution. So the home ownership saving plan. One of my favorite things from this book, mm -hmm. ni at the taxation of gifts. At you keep to Zawadi, KRAPA in the Kujapo, a buni to lay tax kwa maua. How does that work? Why would you go at the gifts are only taxable if uh, if number one, they, 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 if it is the employer who is giving you a gift, eh? for example, at the at the mwaka enye me Peter. Sisi, si, by the have you filed returns? Mukona pin numbers. You have pins. Have you filed job. your returns? I want a job. You are, <laughs> let me tell you something. Whether you are employed or not, and you have a pin, you must file the return. To naita nil, me file nil returns. If you've not, na na June Peter that year unapata penalty immediately. Penalty or nothing? Yes, because of failure to file nil return. The government just want to confirm you're getting nothing. <laughs> Actually, that, that's it. You file to show them, Mimi, Mimi is student. I'm not employed, you file nil return. If you don't, kama ata ime accumulate, kama mungine, ni student ulikuwa tunaongea hapa, alikuwa mechukua, akichukua hell, because now you can't do without a KRA pin, haja file returns from 2014. So ikikuja lazima to file 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, nasasa 2021. Those are eight years. Na unapiwa penalty ya 2,000. So you take 2,000 and the number of years aja aja file. Na hiyo 2,000 ni penalty itakuwa ina interest pia. So you can imagine. So kama ukona pina ujakua ukifile, already ujua ukona penalty ya KRA. Ah. Yes. Kutoka ile ya ulichukua P na ujakua ukifile returns, uko. Na kama so uko hivyo, ukuja unione. So, pini investment ya KRA kwa wasi ya wana job. Kwa sababu. <laughs> ya kila mtu. Sahi, ata, ata, ata a bank account you can't open without a PIN. Kama ni electricity connection you can't do without a PIN. And sahi, hivyo ndivu wanashika watu wenye wakona rentals na walipi tax. Kuna watu wakona tunyumba uko na walipi tax. So, wao wanaenda tu. Kenya power. Wanaenda wanaangalia kingori akona how many meters? Seven. How can you have seven meters? Ni kumanisha ukona rento, unaekea obligation ya rental income. Until you take yourself there, go tell them everything about you. Okay. Inaitua disclosure, voluntary disclosure. Kwa zawadi bado. Oh, kwa gifts. Customary, so kwa customary gifts. gifts. Customary. So what a dowry should be taxed. <laughs> <laughs> if gift is customarily given in a manisha, it is the custom of the company to give to the employees. Customarily given meaning, maybe Christmas, ni custom ya, kampuni inapatia watu gifts. Before you go home, tunawapatia gifts. Kama ni time ya idul fitri, yes. wanaeza sema, during that time, we will be gifting these people. That one is tax. Najua ni kwa nini? Mm -hmm. The tax man says, yes. this benefit unaipata because you are employed. If you are not employed, unge ipata. If the employer keeps giving you gifts frequently, yes. you will also be subjected to tax. Maybe waseme, this year you are the best performing employee. We are going to give you 100,000. That 100,000, the taxman comes, you have to share with him. Oh. Yes, because so you got it. it's better to be an employee, it's better to be an average employee. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you work harder, you get more income. Uh, so where is say mauta work because of taxation? Where is it cheza katikati? Below yeah. tax? Na nini? Sasa kingori utakosa ku work hard upate millions because of tax. Can you do wow. that? Do you know? Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Unajua wasi wa understand how deep mm. taxation is. 
Do you know mtu akikwambia analikwa half a million per month? Mm -hmm. Half a million per month that's roughly 350k per month. Mm -hmm. That's around there uh, about. Around figure. Imagine like ndio usikie mtu ana 300 as in we ukisikia mtu salary yako gross ni 500k that's the truth hapo kuna very good percentage inaenda na KRE and that's why I even my students the ones i talk to when you are negotiating for your salary you need to be very keen ukama unataka 50000 be very open to the person who is employing you mwambie it is 50000 net of tax ju ukisema 50000 that is not your take home from that 50000 lazima wata compute pay as you earn itolewe upewe the net 000. income so you see uh, tax ni lazima that's why tunaambiwa hata tax time ya jesus it was still there that's why he gives Caesar what belongs to Caesar i don't know how muslims call so, it me at i have this argument sorry for your your muslim one i don't muslim one <laughs> i don't know i don't mi, 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 we can i consider myself now that miuga wana salary yangu na kiare am i a kiare employee <laughs> no, KRA is getting their their tax from your salary. You are not their employee. That is how government makes money. As in they don't have ready sources of income. At tuko na hii. Yaani they have other sources like watafute government investment and so and so. Lakini you now as a citizen of the country mm -hmm. and you are within the threshold to be taxed, you must give KRA what belongs to KRA one of the most controversial conversation kwa taxation mm -hmm. ni kanisa hiyo uwezi kuza actually actually ukiangalia status yangu leo if you look at it eh, i've just given a ruling we won in court eh, where they, they they had built a church sita mention gani 5.5 million wakawaambia this is what you okay yari from all this offering tithes you have been getting you need to pay us but i was saying even them even appealing because kwa tribunal the case was won then waka appeal i would have advised kare you should not have done that because the income tax act says eh, if an institution is a public in nature or public in character number two, if it is formed for advancement of religion or education it should not be subjected to tax so them they were arguing these people do not have tax exemption certificate but on the other hand ukiangalia income tax act tithes offerings uh, donations they are not subjected to tax cuz e tithe ni nyinyi mnapeleka you have already been subjected to tax why would it be subjected to another double taxation kwa hivyo the case was won and it was a landmark ruling which i'm very proud of that's why i shared it in my status because churches awajaingia kwa hiyo bracket ya kutaxiwa because kingori wewe ukienda kwa kanisa utoe offering already ulikuwa umetaxiwa from your salary si ni kweli so hii salary nimetaxiwa wanataka wai tax tena hapana so offering tithes donations they do not fall under category of taxation okay yes. sawa sawa na what's the practicality of taxing dowry ukitishwa ngombe 100 <laughs> unapeleka ngombe 95 unasema hizo tano ni withholding <laughs> <laughs> what's the practicality now uh dowry dowry sijui kingori umeona wapi we do not tax dowry but um unless unless umeingia kwa biashara yako ni uko na watu wengi sana kazi yako tu ni kupeleka wasichana unaletewa dowry 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 we need to prove that is the business you are doing <laughs> lakini <laughs> lakini kama ni uh, umepata mrembo unaenda unalipa dawari babake hata taxi wa for that hapana mm -hmm. that is so but i think there is a separation something i'm picking from this conversation mm -hmm. is if something is a business mm -hmm. uh, lazima you are, you are liable for taxation actually hata ukiangalia kuna mali niongea sana about business income yes kwa business income there are some circumstances or situation which will make it not be subjected to tax For example, you go to China for your holiday. You find a very good clothing material, a piece, maybe silk. Useme I will buy this one material. Yes. Ukuje nayo. Ukikuja nayo, uh, yes. maybe uli buy like uh, one million meters. Ukakuja nazo. Yes. So ukikuja nazo, you didn't have any intention to sell. But kukuja watu waone ni mzuri wakwambie kindly sell it to us. Ukiwauzia, u make profit, the government comes after you wanakwambia whatever quantity you bought this is not for one person consumption 
because a normal person anava 3 meters of clothes ama 3 you bought a ah. million so watakwambia the quantity you purchase is out of proportion of one person's consumption so we will tax you lakini kama ulienda ukanunua tu like 3 meters or you bought your 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 at at same 20 meters ama ukaenda uka buy like 7 suits that's okay but ukienda u buy like 50 suits eh watakwambia hapa hata kama you are telling akukua na intention ya kuuza it's too much a new suit every day for the next 50 days is not practical so they say that if you buy like 50 watakwambia this is out of proportion of one's requirements too much share with so, us only if you sell where does someone read, by the it's an interesting thing you've said, where does someone read uh, uh, the, the quantity of anything you can buy from outside the country coming back? Only in many cases what happens, eh? um, they, are, they are the way they get information about you. Have you ever asked yourself, kwa nini, wa, si tukona biashara mingi hapa? Kwanini wamepata huyu, wamepata huyu, wamepata huyu? There are so many sources of information to carry. For example, friends turned enemies. Oh, you mentioned Mtu anaweza kuwa una, una make a lot of money. Mtu naende ya kutani in KRA. Or maybe in your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-husband, your ex-wife. Ajwe u mtu kuna penya na making kipesa. Ataenda akuseti. Pia... Kwa mali relationship siya, Sarah? As in, <laughs> there is no way... Yeah, it, it is, and then in Guinea, the media, when you tunaji advertise, nini, nini, maybe we are you are all over, we are saying we are to visit this company. This company na kai it's making a lot of money. And the moment we mekumulika sasa, they want to dig everything. So we keep income, kama yo, eh, you imported something. He would import nini. So they start digging and subject you to, to all that scrutiny to see whether you have hidden income here For and the there. the people who go shopping outside the country, umenda China, ume buy mangu, ume buy laptop, ume buy sim, ume buy nini, you want to come back with that. You'll also you do. And, and you know currently, kwanza venye wanafanya, unapata, they, they have several employees. Mutu anambiwa, hii pina, hii na, hii na, hii na, hii ni yako. So, and I dig those people who wane kama wanalipa tax as it is. So utaona mtu tu amekuja kwa shop yako from nowhere tuko hapa tunataka ku, tunataka your record of sales tunataka hii tunataka hii tunataka hii so ukianza kudigiwa sasa ndio unakuja unapata wanakupatia ma additional assessment and that's where we come in as tax, tax experts kama sisi tuko hapo kutetea clients that's why wangeshi waro is a tax expert kama sasa hii i have so many cases tribunal juu wamekuja wamekwambia kama mwingine wanakuja wanamwambia you owe us 97 million so ukiambiwa hivyo where do you start? Because unasikia watu wakisema KRA wanaweza fanya you, you close your shop. So what do you do from there? So you look for experts to help you. And I'm proudly saying hiyo ya 98 million we won the case. Cuz unapata kama saa hii kuna vitu nyingi sana wameweka kwa system. Nikikuja ninunue goods from you, ama ama trader, you are my supplier, he's my customer. So if I come buy goods from you, automatically you put my pin. Obviously, the KRA picks. Wangeshi has bought some goods from Kingori. So, mimi na mimi nikikuja when I'm filing my returns, I have to disclose I bought goods from you. Na wewe kama, as, as you mimi nimekuja nimeweka hivyo, na wewe uja, uja disclose kama sale. Maybe you kueka pin yangu. Na mimi nimeweka pin yako uliniuzia, sisi wote tunatumiwa barua. Unaambua, you owe us this, you owe us this. Because wameona kuna inconsistency inaitwa VAT auto assessment. So from there sasa unapata natumiwa bill si yangu, labda makosa ni yako. So mnaanza ku dig now fighting trying to prove your case. Okay. So ukisikia client yoyote anasumbuka sana mambo ya KRA, just help them out. You need to be tax experts look for us we'll help them out. Okay. Sawa sawa asante sana. I believe there's so much we can talk about a on lot, a lot, we are happy a lot. to uh, set a set up another conversation. Yeah. But for today, tumepata kitu, sindio? Haya wazi. Asante sana wapi makopi yake. Thank you. Thank you very much. And how can potential tax avoidance uh, clients, ama upcoming tax nini, get your services? Uh, ukienda Facebook, I'm CPA Wangeshi Warue. Ama Wangeshi Warue, that's my personal account, Wangeshi Warue, or CPA Wangeshi Warue. And we also do so many things there. Maybe at Aukingia, Utapata Makaha, and Nini. I'm an entrepreneur, I do so many things. But for today, I was talking about taxation. So maybe you make Kwama, Unataka internship, come to us. I'm a director at Vision Institute of Professionals, Tunafunza CPA.
So kuja uko tutakusaidia, internship, attachment, all those things. We will help you out. Alafu maze na wanyo wame qualify for internship wana? Internship, tu, wakikuja wengi kama wenye tukona wao, tunawapeanga fair. We give them fair in lunch. Eh, yes. Not a links is a job maybe. Uh, actually tuko mpaka na ofisia placement, career placement. So ukikuja na CV yako, many companies send us because they know we are, count, we are counting training. Okay. Yeah, okay. So tunawasaidia kupata. Sawa, sawa. Yes. Shout out to everyone mwenye aneza kata opportunity yako. Uh, if it's a special way to give back uh, from a guest on the show, we'll very much appreciate. Tumpigeni makofi ya shukrani in advance. Asante sana, asante